A man or woman must be dedicated to stability, immovable, unwavering, no doubt, no fear. Your destiny is predicated on your ability to remain calm, cool, and collected. It is not a matter of not allowing men or women to press your buttons. The truth is, there must be no buttons to press. If you allow anger to control you, to govern you, to arrest you, you're bankrupt. Get back in the driver's seat. Gain control over your emotions. Be committed. Be fully persuaded to peace. For without which you will never fulfill your purpose. With everything that you think, and every word that you speak, and every move that you make, let peace and harmony be your portion. A warrior that is angry is at war with himself. Do not under any circumstances depend on a partial feeling. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. Never let yourself be saddened by a separation. Resentment and complaint are appropriate, neither for oneself nor others. Do not let yourself be guided by the feelings of lust or love. In all things... Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny for what could more aptly fit your needs. If you are not willing to risk the usual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. Happiness is the activity of the soul in accordance with excellence. Aristotle this quote defines happiness as a state of flourishing achieved through the pursuit of virtue and the development of one's full potential. Happiness is wanting what you get. When anger rises, think of the consequences. A lot of people have gone further than they thought they could because someone else thought they could. Zig Ziglar When you, when you have something you want to do, if you don't develop the courage to do that which has been given you to do, and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval, what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream. It's an interesting thing about life I've also found that if you don't have the courage to act, sometimes and particularly if you have something special to do, life will move on you. I. If, 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 if it were not for life, I would still be a disc jockey. I didn't just leave voluntarily to go to the state legislature. I was fired. I was working on a job and I came home one day. I was married at the time and I told my former wife, I said, that guy Bert I work for is stupid. She said, if he's so stupid, why does he sign you a paycheck? Now you see why I divorced her, right? I couldn't stand her. <laughs> that night, I could not sleep well. Here was a guy that was controlling my life. I was going through all kinds of changes because this man controlled my paycheck. And it was Carlisle who said, truth crushed to earth shall rise again. Winston Churchill said, the truth is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it, ignorance may deride it, but at the end, there it is. And we know scripture that says, ye shall know the truth, 
and the truth shall set you free. And the truth that I had to come to grips with, that I wasn't in charge of my destiny. The truth was that I was And since pleasure is our first and native good, for that reason we do not choose every pleasure whatsoever, but will often pass over many pleasures when a greater annoyance ensues from them. And often we consider pain superior to pleasures when submission to the pains for a long time brings us as a consequence a greater pleasure. While therefore all pleasure because it is naturally akin to us is good, not all pleasure is should be chosen, just as all pain is an evil, and yet not all pain is to be shunned. It is, however, by measuring one against another, and by looking at the conveniences and inconveniences, that all these matters must be judged. Sometimes we treat the good as an evil, and the evil, on the contrary, as a good. Never put off till tomorrow the fun you can have today. Smiling doesn't necessarily mean you're happy. Sometimes it just means you're strong. Water can carry a boat, it can also sink it. Chinese proverb. As is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Never make a permanent decision based on temporary emotions. The difference between those who succeed and those who fail is not the presence of fear, but how they respond to it. Alex Hormozzi You move from the mundane, from the average, to mastery. Mastery is an obsession. Those who are obsessed with the process of becoming are the ones who become. See, a lot of people, they want that gold, they want that ring, but they don't want to put that work in. And in order to achieve, I must understand that I must study. I must study to move from average to mastery. It's the daily battle, it's the daily grind that prepares us and equips us to win the war. Why do you do what you do? Why do you want what you want? The question is why have you delved deeply into the reason why you do what you do? I need you to take a moment and garner up all the belief that you have left in yourself and in the idea of what is possible to make this thing happen. The process is muddy. The process is murky. The process is dark. The process is cold. The process is going to leave you in places where you're going to feel like you have been abandoned, like nobody believes in you, nobody supports you. What is your why? Because if your why is powerful enough, then you can persevere through the process. What is it? Find it. When you don't see a light at the end of your tunnel, you got to remember the light that is burning inside of you that nobody is able to put out. There is not a person on this planet that can stop you. It is a possibility that you are only doing what you are doing because somebody told you to do it. It is in thy power absolutely to exclude all manner of conceit and opinion as concerning this matter, and by the same means to exclude all grief and sorrow from thy soul. For as for the things and objects themselves, they of themselves have no such power whereby to beget and force upon us any opinion at all. He who is satisfied with his lot is rich. When you try to please everybody, you almost always please nobody. Good habits formed at youth make all the difference. Aristotle. <laughs>